Sama sama sama. Okay. How are you? Hello there. Wanna hear? How are you guys? Oh, it's a little cold outside today. Again, still not warm yet in the spring. It's uh, April first. So exciting. Spring is here. Um. Well, today I would like to um, kind of share with you my um, knowing or ideas of uh, four different levels of uh, conscious awareness. And I kind of like divide it into four. And that within the four, there's a first, first level and second level that is uh, categorized as old earth consciousness and the bottom third and fourth level is going to be the new earth consciousness um the consciousness is just a way of explaining it it's just like your our mind awareness level it's just the different levels and different um depths of seeing in the world even though we live in the same reality but every single person who live on this earth actually living in very different individual um, individuality and a different level of awareness so um yeah should i explain what i think Let's do it. So I wrote it into a little tiny board. I hope you guys can see it. I don't know um, by filming it. I just have no idea what it looked like in my camera. So I can't really check, but I hope you can see it. So um, this is just simplified one. The first, I'm just going to describe four levels of awareness conscious awareness the first level is the old system i would say 19th century or before on earth the people are um, fully still people are actually still 21st century i uh, living in this uh, state of the three-dimensional world uh, which i wrote it down here as simply put life happens to me mentality and awareness okay i'll go details one by one okay just for now i'm just gonna tell you what it is and the second level of awareness conscious conscious mind consciousness is life happened happens by me mentality or awareness and third one it's called life happens through me conscious awareness then fourth one is life happens as me okay just these four levels of awareness but by um actually i learned this a couple of years ago by attending some entrepreneur workshop online and it was held in london england um but it was very interesting and i never really looked our awareness like this kind of separated um, organized way so this is a very good measurement uh, of seeing where I am uh, where am I going to and toward so I wanted to use this to explain a little bit more than what is I learned from the workshop it was um, magnificent like an awesome workshop to begin with but um, now I have more awareness plus to it within my different um, multi-dimensional awareness. Okay, so maybe I'll just turn it down because it's hard to hold it, keep it going. Um, what I wanna explain for within this video, I wanna explain about what is the old earth, three dimensional world uh, mentality or conscious awareness so first level first stage um, of awareness which we've been living it's all 
and life happens to me mentality. Just even think about what it sounds like. Life happens to me. What do you feel? Yeah, I think you might understand now. Life happens to me mentality is, or the conscious awareness is, uh, we recognize ourselves as powerless or um, there's no control over to our own lives which is um, victim mentality, some people would say, or lack um, mentality, which is not enough, always not enough. I don't have enough. I don't have anything. Um, so life happens to me, people living in the world. Um, the world is, I don't create what I, living that's the kind of basic thing and then if you live in the mentality um, everything whatever happens to you is somebody else's fault which means I'm a victim I'm always a victim so what it is it's like um, for example I got kind of cheated by some scammer and then they stole uh, ten thousand dollars from my bank account somehow this is for example never happened and um, in that case the people who live in the life happens to me mentality they'll be so mad that oh my god i got scammed and this guy being cheating and stole stealing money from people i can't believe it which i understand and the people who's in the 3D life happens to be mentality, if you're deep in it, that you are not aware of it, you just start blaming on other people for what happened. In this case, I would blame on that person who cheating, cheater, and then nothing, it was nothing wrong with me, or um, it wasn't my fault, um, then just blame on people other people so when you thinking this way nothing really happens or nothing really starts in your life you always something always happened to your, our life of course but always feeling victimized and blaming on other people like oh my father because of my parents state i'm like this i wasn't educated because of i don't have an education i am this because i live in this country i can't do this because um my city it has not enough population i can't start this business so on whatever so everything is blame and what i want to share here is it's time for us to raise rise above from this life happens to me mentality now it's no longer needed to think this way or this awareness if you want to stay there that's awesome that's great it's your choice and we all have a free will in this world there's no pressure and also there's no right or wrong so if you want to be it that's great you enjoy the experience that you are having um, but for some people who wants to move on from life happens to me mentality then what should we do do you know how do we do that um, the first things I will um, start trying or experimenting with this situation, I will be start practicing on forgiveness, which also I think you guys overheard all the spiritual leaders like forgiveness. I really. 
understand but just how we heard over and over times and it's just like how do you do that what is forgiveness you know um my forgiveness here is you really focus on yourself because this life happens to me mentality is all about blame right somebody else's fault everything is not my fault not my responsibility somebody else's fault and the world's fault it's not me it just happened to me there's no control for me i can't do anything so how to get out from that first things first is forgive you you i if it's me i forgive myself for being blaming on other people for where i am what i am who i am first things second forgive myself for maybe not being able to forgive somebody you know for example in my case my dad uh he's on rehab right now but he's been alcoholic for a couple of years and he's been depressed for many many years so in that state i when i think of my dad i feel a little bit irritated or annoyed because i just do and more or less i feel a little bit disappointed to tell you the truth it's a disappointment is my feeling for uh, when I think about him deep down so I can use this I forgive myself for not be able to forgive my father for being a little bit weak and just going toward alcohol just to soothe his emotion not being able to face his emotion and fears and a run away but i forgive myself for not being able to forgive my dad for being in the state that's the start you know and uh, so forgiveness of what you are not being able to forgive is first step so my suggestion or invitation whatever you call it um of forgiveness is not about forgive others it's more like forgive just me myself for being me that's a good start right so first things first forgiveness second is uh, take responsibility of your own if it's me take take responsibility of my own self which means my own thoughts my own words my own action and own being of who i am um, responsibility if you think of the world ah world words um just break it down response able right i can response that's what a responsibility means so you don't have to think too seriously about this um just recognize and allow yourself to be able to response to what you think what you say what you do uh what your being is too you know um yeah um so be responsible for your own self uh what's a good example mm. for example for example for example if um you feeling a little bit um irritated that I didn't think about um, future ahead of the time. I didn't save up food as much in the situation and I in the lockdown. I don't have a lot of food in my house. Um, 
well, I get kind of, this is example, I have a food, but um, for example, I'm a little bit annoyed, um, feeling annoyed to myself. And toward this, you could also feel um, okay and accept it as what it is and if uh, you can be responsible to your own action that you already did which you didn't buy enough food and also um, you can be able to respond to your thinking and emotion what you're feeling of annoyance um, which you can just say that's okay I can always find a time to go out to the market and always get food of what I need. No worries, it's all right. So here's a responsibility that you took action to yourself is that phrase or the thoughtful conversation toward yourself that it's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no problem. It's going to be fine. It's all good. So that's also you are being responsible to your own self, your own thoughts, because what you're doing is you are responding to yourself. You're being responsible. So this is how you could get out of life happens to me situation. Um, yeah, so this is a uh, first stage of three-dimensional world duality mentality and level of consciousness. And the earth is moving forward to a higher dimension. I don't think right now it's a three dimension at all. It's almost like 3.5 dimension. I don't know, that's how I feel. But anyway, from life happens to me that um, awareness to next stage, how do we get there? Is to think the life happens by me mode. To be able to do that, you just forgive yourself and second, being responsible for your own self. So that's the step toward next level of consciousness. And yeah, next.